what we've seen is that obviously the four walls, the four walls of the office are not, you know, confining your business. People's desire for flexibility has really pushed that um, to your homes, outside the office. You, you, your thinking goes away from office-based security, almost more of a device-based security. Um, but with that comes this sort of a lack of understanding when, when there's a, a minimal resources around IT or security. It comes a lack of understanding around where your data actually lives and how people are actually access it. So I want to sort of take a scenario of a lawyer who might not have the tools that they need to do their job effectively, or maybe don't actually have the training or the knowledge to use those tools properly. And what that breeds is the desire for that individual to take things into their own hands just to get the outcomes that they need for the customer and for the business. So you start breeding that shadow IT, people going and using their own personal one box, people using personal drop boxes, saving things to USB sticks, um, even saving to their personal one or their personal devices. And this breeds risk, and particularly when you bring in factors like you know, your personal home internet, um, customers' environments that you're sharing with that may not be secure, with public Wi-Fi so at the airport. You know, all of that breeds risk. You don't know kind of how that data is moving around and the business loses complete sight of it. So what's key in all of this is that you actually start building a cyber security culture and that you have the technology, the the business processes, but also the individual practices that are going to come together to make sure that you're, you're in a good starting point.